Chinese mythology is mythology that has been passed down in oral form or recorded in literature in the geographic area now known as China. Chinese mythology includes many varied myths from regional and cultural traditions. Chinese mythology is far from monolithic, not being an integrated system, even among just Han people. Chinese mythology is encountered in the traditions of various classes of people, geographic regions, historical periods including the present, and from various ethnic groups. China is the home of many mythological traditions, including that of Han Chinese and their Waxia predecessors, as well as Tibetan mythology, Turkic mythology, Korean mythology, and many others. However, the study of Chinese mythology tends to focus upon material in Chinese language. Much of the mythology involves exciting stories full of fantastic people and beings, the use of magical powers, often taking place in an exotic mythological place or time. Like many mythologies, Chinese mythology has in the past been believed to be, at least in part, a factual recording of history. Along with Chinese folklore, Chinese mythology forms an important part of Chinese folk religion. Many stories regarding characters and events of the distant past have a double tradition, ones which present a more historicized or euhemerized version and ones which presents a more mythological version. Many myths involve the creation and cosmology of the universe and its deities and inhabitants. Some mythology involves creation myths, the origin of things, people and culture. Some involve the origin of the Chinese state. Some myths present a chronology of prehistoric times, many of these involve a culture hero who taught people how to build houses, or cook, or write, or was the ancestor of an ethnic group or dynastic family. Mythology is intimately related to ritual. Many myths are oral associations with ritual acts, such as dances, ceremonies, and sacrifices. <laughs> Mythology and religion There has been an extensive interaction between Chinese mythology and Confucianism, Taoism, and Buddhism. Elements of pre-Han dynasty mythology such as those in Shan Hai Jing were adapted into these belief systems as they developed in the case of Taoism, or were assimilated into Chinese culture in the case of Buddhism. Elements from the teachings and beliefs of these systems became incorporated into Chinese mythology. For example, the Taoist belief of a spiritual paradise became incorporated into mythology as the place where immortals and deities dwelt. Sometimes mythological and religious ideas have become widespread across China's many regions and diverse ethnic societies. In other cases beliefs are more limited to certain social groups, for example the veneration of white stones by the Chang. One mythological theme that has a long history and many variations involves a shamanic worldview, for example in the cases of Mongolian shamanism among the Mongols, Hmong shamanism among the Miao people, and the shamanic beliefs of the Qing dynasty from 1643 to 1912, derived from the Manchus. Politically, mythology was often used to legitimize the dynasties of China, with the founding house of a dynasty claiming divine descent. Mythology and philosophy True mythology is distinguished from philosophical treatises and theories. Elaborations on the Wuxing are not really part of mythology, although belief in five elements could appear. The hundred schools of thought is a phrase suggesting the diversity of philosophical thought that developed during the warring states of China. Then, and subsequently, philosophical movements had a complicated relationship with mythology. However, as far as they influence or are influenced by mythology, John C. Ferguson 1928, introduction, divides the philosophical camps into two rough halves, a liberal group and a conservative group. The liberal group being associated with the idea of individuality and change, for example as seen in the mythology of divination in China, such as the mythology of the dragon horse that delivered the eight Bagua diagrams to Fu Xi, and methods of individual empowerment as seen in the Yi Jing Book of Changes. The liberal tendency is towards individual freedom, Taoism, and nature. The relationship of the conservative philosophies to mythology is seen in the legendary Nine Tripod Cauldrons, mythology about the emperors and central bureaucratic governance, Confucianism, written histories, ceremonial observances, subordination of the individual to the social groups of family and state, and a fixation on stability and enduring institutions. The distinction between the liberal and conservative is very general, but important in Chinese thought. 
Contradictions can be found in the details, however these are often traditional, such as the embrace by Confucius of the philosophical aspects of the Yi Jing, and the back and forth about the mandate of heaven wherein one dynasty ends and another begins based according to accounts some of heavily mythological where the way of heaven results in change, but then a new ethical stable dynasty becomes established. Examples of this include the stories of Yi Yin, Tang of Shang and Jia of Sha or the similar fantastic stories around Zhou Gong and King Zhou of Shang. Mythology and ritual Mythology exists in relationship with other aspects of society and culture, such as ritual. Various rituals are explained by mythology. For example, the ritual burning of mortuary banknotes hell money, lighting fireworks, and so on. Yubu A good example of the relationship of Chinese mythology and ritual is the Yubu, also known as the steps or paces of Yu. During the course of his activities in controlling the Great Flood, Yu was supposed to have so fatigued himself that he lost all the hair from his legs and developed a serious limp. Taoist practitioners sometimes incorporate a curiously choreographed pedal locomotion into various rituals. Mythology and practice, one explains the other, in these rituals, the sacred time of you merges with the sacral practice of the present. <inaudible> Gender studies Gender is a significant phenomenon in Chinese mythology. On the one hand there are traditions about sexual reproduction, fertility, mother goddesses, and evidence by scholars such as Jordan Paper of a patriarchal influence over time. Tor Shen is an example of a gender-oriented deity. The marking of gender in Chinese is different than in English. Especially in classical Chinese, it is unnecessary to mark for gender in most nouns and pronouns, thus making gender difficult to determine in some cases, and then difficult in English to write about, without implying some viewpoint on the gender of the subject the same can be true for number or proper nouns versus common nouns. In any case, much of Chinese mythology is informed by an idea of gender duality and balance, as exemplified in the idea of yin and yang. Cosmology Various ideas about the nature of the Earth, the universe, and their relationship to each other have historically existed as either a background or a focus of mythologies. One typical view is of a square earth separated from a round sky by sky pillars mountains, trees, or undefined. Above the sky is the realm of heaven, often viewed of as a vast area, with many inhabitants. Often the heavenly inhabitants are thought to be of an as above so below nature, their lives and social arrangements being parallel to those on earth, with a hierarchical government run by a supreme emperor, many palaces and lesser dwellings, a vast bureaucracy of many functions, clerks, guards, and servants. Below was a vast underground land, also known as Diyu, Yellow Springs, Hell, and other names. As time progressed, the idea of an underground land in which the souls of the departed were punished for their misdeeds during life became explicit, related to developments in Taoism and Buddhism. The underground world also came to be conceived of as inhabited by a vast bureaucracy, with kings, judges, torturers, conductors of souls, minor bureaucrats, recording secretaries, similar to the structure of society in the Middle Kingdom earthly China. Mythological places and concepts The mythology of China includes a mythological geography describing individual mythological descriptions of places and the features, sometimes, this reaches to the level of a cosmological conception. Various features of mythological terrain are described in myth, including a heavenly world above the earth, a land of the dead beneath the earth, palaces beneath the sea, and various fantastic areas or features of the earth, located beyond the limits of the known earth. Such mythological features include mountains, rivers, forests or fantastic trees, and caves or grottoes. These then serve as the location for the actions of various beings and creatures. One concept encountered in some myths is the idea of travel between earth and heaven by means of climbing up or down the pillars separating the two, there usually being four or eight pillars or an unspecified number of these sky ladders. Directional 
The four symbols of Chinese cosmology were the azure dragon of the east, the black tortoise of the north, the white tiger of the west, and the vermilion bird of the south. These totem animals represented the four cardinal directions, with a lot of associated symbolism and beliefs. A fifth cardinal direction was also postulated, the center, represented by the Emperor of China, located in the middle of his Middle Kingdom Zhangguo, or China. The real or mythological inhabitants making their dwellings at these cardinal points were numerous, as is associated mythology. Topic. Heavenly realm The heavenly realm could be known as Tian, heaven, or the sky. Sometimes this was personified into a deity sky god. In some descriptions this was an elaborate place ruled over by a supreme deity, or a group of supreme deities. Jade Emperor being associated with Taoism and Buddhas with Buddhism. Many astronomically observable features were subjects of mythology or the mythological locations and settings for mythic scenes these include the sun, stars, moon, planets, Milky Way sometimes referred to as the river of heaven, clouds, and other features. These were often the home or destination of various deities, divinities, shamans, and many more. Another concept of the heavenly realm is that of the cords of the sky. Travel between heaven and earth was usually described as achieved by flying or climbing. The Quechow, Quechow, Quechow was a bridge formed by birds flying across the Milky Way, as seen in the cowherd and the weaver girl mythology surrounding the Shishi festival. Topic. Subterranean realm According to mythology, beneath the earth is another realm, that of an underground world. This world is generally said to be inhabited by souls of the dead see Hun and po. Inhabited by souls of dead humans and various supernatural beings this subterranean hell is known by various names, including Diyu or the Yellow Springs. In more historically recent mythology, this subterranean land is generally described as somewhat similar to the ideas about the land above land above. It possesses a hierarchical government bureaucracy, centered in the capital city of Yudu. The rulers are various kings, whose duties include making sure that the souls of dead humans are correctly placed according to the merits of their life on earth, and that adequate records are kept about the process. One example being Yanluo the Wang. King Yanluo. Various functions are said to be performed by minor officials and their minions, such as ox head and horse face, humanoid devils with animal features. The functions performed in DU tend to focus on punishment by torture according to the crimes committed during life, weighed against any merits earned through good deeds through a process of judgment. In some versions of mythology or Chinese folk religion, the souls are reincarnated after being given the drink of forgetfulness by Meng Po. <laughs> Topic. Earthly realm Much mythology involves remote, exotic, or hard to get to places. All sorts of mythological geography is said to exist at the extremes of the cardinal directions of Earth. Much of the earthly terrain has been said to be inhabited by local spirits sometimes called fairies or genii loci, especially mountains and bodies of water. There are grotto heavens, and also earthly paradises. Topic. Seas, rivers, and islands Various bodies of water appear in Chinese mythology. This includes oceans, rivers, streams, ponds. Often they are part of a mythological geography, and may have notable features, such as mythological islands, or other mythological features. There are mythological versions of all the major rivers that have existed in China in between ancient and modern China most of these rivers are the same, but not all. Sometimes these rivers are said to originate from the Milky Way or Kunlun. Anyway, they are said to flow west to east because Gonggong wrecked the world pillar at Bujo, tilting earth and heaven away from each other at that sector. Examples of these mythologized rivers include the Yangtze including various stretches under different names, the Yellow River, the mythological Red River in the west, near Kunlun, and the Weak River, a mythological river in the west, near Kunlun, which flowed with a liquid too light in specific gravity for floating or swimming, but unbreathable. Examples of features along mythological rivers include the Dragon Gates Longmen, which were rapid waterfalls where select carp can transform into dragons, by swimming upstream and leaping up over the falls. Examples of islands include Mount Peng Lai, a paradisiacal isle in the sea, vaguely east of China but sometimes conflated with Japan. 
Topic: <laughs> Mountains and in between places. Various other mythological locales include what are known as fairylands or paradises, pillars separating earth and sky, ruined or otherwise. The earth has many extreme and exotic locales, they are separated by pillars between earth and heaven, supporting the sky, usually four or eight. Generally, Chinese mythology regarded people as living in the middle regions of the world and conceived the exotic earthly places to exist in the directional extremes to the north, east, south, or west. Eventually, the idea of an eastern and western paradise seems to have arisen. In the west according to certain myths there was Kunlun. On the eastern seacoast was Feather Mountain, the place of exile of Gun and other events during or just after the world flood. Further east was Fusong, a mythical tree, or else an island sometimes interpreted as Japan. The geography of China, in which the land seems to be higher in the west aand tilt down toward the east and with the rivers tending to flow west to east was explained by the damage Gong Gong did to the world pillar Mount Bujo, mountain pillars separating the sky from the world China, which also displaced the celestial pole, so that the sky rotates off-center. <laughs> Kunlun in the west was Kunlun, although also sometimes said to be towards the South Seas. Kunlun was pictured as having a mountain or mountain range, Kunlun Mountain where dwelt various divinities, grew fabulous plants, home to exotic animals, and various deities and immortals today there is a real mountain or range named Kunlun, as there has in the past, however the identity has shifted further west over time. The Qing Niao bird was a mythical bird, and messenger of Shi Wangmu to the rest of the world. Nearby to Kunlun, it was sometimes said or written and forming a sort of protective barrier to the western paradise or fairyland, named Xuanpu Zanpu where also was to be found the jade pool Yaochi, Yaokai eventually thought to exist on Mount Kunlun which itself was thought to possess cliffs insurmountable to normal mortals was the Moving Sands, a semi-mythological place also to the west of China the real Taklamakan Desert to the west of or in China is known for its shifting sands. There were other locations of mythological geography around the area of Kunlun such as Jade Mountain and the various colored rivers which flew out of Kunlun. Mythological and semi-mythological chronology Mythological and semi-mythological chronology includes mythic representations of the creation of the world, population and sometimes repopulations by humans, sometimes floods, and various cultural developments, such as the development of ruling dynasties. Many myths and stories have been recounted about the early dynasties, however, more purely historical literature tends to begin with the Qin dynasty for example, see Paludan 1998. On the other hand, accounts of the Shang, Sha, and early Zhou dynasties tend to mythologize. By a historical process of euhemerism many of these myths evolved over time into variant versions with an emphasis on moral parables and rationalization of some of the more fantastic ideas. Mythology of time and calendar Mythology of time and the calendar includes the twelve zodiacal animals and various divine or spiritual genii regulating or appointed as guardians for years, days, or hours. Topic: <laughs> Twelve zodiacal animals. In China and surrounding areas, a calendrical system consisting of measuring time in cycles of twelve, represented by twelve, has an ancient historical past. The exact lineup of animals is sometimes slightly different, but the basic principle is that each animal takes a turn as the emblematic or totem animal for a year or other unit of time in a cycle of one dozen. This is explained by various myths. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Correlation of mythological and real time. Some Chinese mythology becomes specific about chronological time, based on the Ganzi system, numbers of human generations, or other details suggesting synchronization between the mythological chronology and the ideas of modern historians. However, real correlation begins in the year of the metal monkey, Zhou Dynasty, 841 BCE, a since-validated claim by Sima Qian 40-41. However, although historians take note of this, subsequent mythology has not tended to reflect this quest for rational, historical timelining. <laughs> creation myths 
Various ideas about the creation of the universe, the earth, the sky, various deities and creatures, and the origin of various clans or ethnic groups of humans have circulated in the area of China for millennia. These creation myths may include the origins of the universe and everything, the origins of humans, or the origins of specific groups, such as a Han Chinese in descent from Yandi and Wangdi as Yan Huang Zi Sun, descendants of the flame and yellow emperors. Various myths contain explanations of various origins and the progress of cultural development. Topic: <laughs> Pangu One common story involves Pangu. Among other sources, he was written about by Taoist author Xu Zheng c. 200 CE, as claimed to be the first sentient being and creator, making the heavens and the earth. Topic. Age of heroes Various culture heroes have been said to have helped or saved humanity in many ways, such as stopping floods, teaching the use of fire, and so on. As mythic chronology is inherently nonlinear, with time being telescopically expanded or contracted, and with various contradictions. The earliest culture heroes were sometimes considered deities sometimes heroic humans, sometimes considered to be heroic humans, and often little distinction was made. Examples of early culture heroes include Yao Chao, have nest, who taught people how to make wooden shelters Wu 1982, 51, and Christie 1968, 84, Swiran. Fire maker, who taught people the use of fire and cooking, thus saving them from much food poisoning, together with progress toward development of cuisine. Wu 1982, 51, and Christie 1968, 84. An example of a non-Han ethnicity culture hero is Panhu. Because of their self-identification as descendants from these original ancestors, Panhu has been worshipped by the Yao people and the Shi people, often as King Pan, and the eating of dog meat tabooed Yang et al. 2005, 52 This ancestral myth is also has been found among the Miao people and Li people Yang et al. 2005, 100 and 180. Some of the first culture heroes are the legendary emperors who succeeded the times of the part human part serpent deities Nuwa and Fuxi. These emperors tend to be portrayed as more explicitly human, although Wangdi, the yellow emperor, is often portrayed as part dragon during life. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Mythological emperors. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Historicity. Some historicized versions of semi-historical and undeniably mythologized accounts of ancient times those who have, upon evidence such as tradition and archaeoastronomy, apply actual BCE dates to the mythological chronology. Traditional Chinese accounts of the early emperors chronologically locate the Yellow Emperor as having lived in the northern Chinese plain around 2698 to 2599 BCE, Wu 1982, 61, about 17 generations after the time of Shenong, Wu 1982, 56 and 100 N. 25. A major difference between the possible historicity of material embedded in mythological accounts being that through the time of the last flame emperor Yandi, information was being recorded using knotted ropes Wu 1982, 56, whereas the introduction of writing is associated with the reign of Huang Di the Yellow Emperor, although the historical continuity of a written tradition beginning then is a matter of discussion by experts. The most prominent of first emperors, such as, in chronological order, Wangdi, Gaoyang, Zhuangshu, Gaoxin, Di Ku, Yao, and Shun. These emperors were said to be morally upright and benevolent, and examples to be emulated by latter-day kings and emperors. Sometimes approximate calculations of times have been made based on the claimed number of generations from one significant mythological figure to the next, as in the case of the legendary founder of the Ji family, Hu Ji, whose descendants generations after his mythological appearance would rule as the historical Zhou dynasty, beginning around 1046 BCE. Despite various assignations of dates to the accounts of these emperors, fantastic claims about the length of their reigns are common. The average reign lengths that these numbers imply are improbable, and is a lack of consensus regarding these dates by modern historians, and their mythological use may be limited to establishing a relative chronology. Topic: <laughs> 3 primeval emperors, 5 premier emperors, and 3 dynasties. The mythological history of people or at least the Han Chinese people begins with two groups, one of three and one of five. 
The numbers are symbolically significant, however the actual membership of the two groups is not explicated. There are different lists. The older group is the three primeval emperors, who were followed by the five premier emperors Wu 1982, 43 After that came the three dynasties Wu 1982, 55. these were the Xia dynasty, Shang dynasty, and the Zhou dynasty. These three are all historically attested to, but separating the myth from the history is not always clear. Anyway there is a lot of mythology around the three primeval emperors, five premier emperors, and three dynasties. An age of three primeval emperors followed by the age of the five premier emperors Sanwang Wudi contrasts with the subsequent treatment of chronology by dynasties, up to recent times. Since the time the Qin Emperor titled himself Wangdi by combining two previous titles into one, Wangdi was the title for Chinese emperors for ages Wu 1982, 102 3. Topic. Three primeval emperors Topic. Title The title of the three primeval emperors is Huang, in Chinese. The original connotation of this title is unknown, and it is variously translated into English. Translations include Sovereign, Emperor, and August. Topic. Names The names of the three primeval emperors include Yao Chao, Have Nest, Suiren, Fire Maker, Paoshi, Fuxi, Animal Domesticator, and Shenong. Divine Husbandman, Wu 1982, 50. Sometimes Wangdi is included. Topic: Five Premier Emperors. Topic: Title. The title of the Five Premier Emperors is D in Chinese. The original connotation of this title is unknown, or how it compares or contrasts with the term Huang, and it is variously translated into English. Translations include Sovereign, Emperor, and Lord. Topic. Names Names of the five premier emperors include Wangdi, Xiaohao, Zhuangshu, Di Ku, Yao, and Shun. Topic. NUWA and Fuxi NUWA and Fuxi also known as Paoshi, are sometimes worshipped as the ultimate ancestor of all humankind, and are often represented as half-snake, half-humans. Her companion, Fuxi, also called Fu Shi and Paoshi was her brother and husband. Topic. NUWA saves the world After Gong Gong was said to have damaged the world pillar holding the earth and sky apart, the sky was rent causing fires, floods the flood of NUWA and other devastating events which were only remedied when NUWA repaired the sky with five colored stones, also referred to as New KWA appeared in literature no earlier than c. 350 BCE. It is sometimes believed that Nuwa molded humans from clay to populate or repopulate the world, thus creating modern humans. Topic. Fuxi and the Yellow River Map The production of the Yellow River Map is associated mythologically with Fuxi but is also sometimes placed in subsequent eras. Topic. Shenong and the Flame Emperors Shenong is variously translated as Divine Farmer or Divine Peasant or Agriculture God and also known as the Wagushan spirit of the five grains and Wuguxiandi first deity of the five grains Shenong is a mythological Chinese deity in Chinese folk religion and venerated as a mythical sage ruler of prehistoric China Shenong's descendants began to style themselves as flame emperors or Yandi Wu 1982 56 Yandi was sometimes considered an important mythological emperor but better considered as series of emperors bearing the same title the Flame emperors. Yan literally means flame, implying that Yan emperor's people possibly uphold a symbol of fire as their tribal totems. K. C. Wu speculates that this appellation may be connected with the use of fire to clear the fields in slash and burn agriculture. Wu 1982, 56. And, Yandi is also a red emperor. 
Topic: Wangdi, the Yellow Emperor, and Lizu. One of the more important figures in Chinese mythology is Huang Di, sometimes translated into English as Yellow Emperor. He also appears as Xuanyuan. Huang Di is also referred to as one of the five August Ones, and one of the few consistent members of the list Yang 2005, 138. There were also other colored emperors, such as black, green, red, and white. According to some mythology, Huang Di was the son of Shodian, who was the half-brother of Yan Di Yang 2005, 138. Huang Di's mother was said to be Fubao. Wan Di's wife Lizu is supposed to have invented sericulture. In some version Kangji invented writing during the reign of Huang Di. The Yellow Emperor is said to have fought a great battle against Qiyu. Wang Di had various waves and many descendants, including Xiaohao, leader of the Dongyi. Topic. Di Ku Ku, or Di Ku, an important mythological emperor, descendant of Wang Di and ancestor to the ruling family of the Shang dynasty of the 2nd millennium BCE. Topic. Yao and Shun Yao and Shun were important mythological rulers. They were exemplars of propriety in rulership. The Great Flood began during the reign of Yao, and continued through the time of Shun. Shun, the successor of Yao, who passed over his own son and made Shun his successor because of Shun's ability and morality. Historically, when Qin Shi Huang united China in 221 BCE, he used propaganda to acclaim his achievements as surpassing those of mythological rulers who had gone before him. He combined the ancient titles of Huang, Huang and Di, Di to create a new title, Wang Di, Huang Di. Thus, the Qin Emperor was using mythology to bolster his claims to be the legitimate and absolute ruler of the whole earth. This reflected what was or was to become a long-standing belief that the all civilized people should have one government, and that it should be Chinese. Lauderet 1947, 3. Topic. Gun, Yu, and the Great Flood. Shun passed on his place as emperor to Yu the Great. The Yellow River, prone to flooding, erupted in a huge flood in the time of Yao, which disrupted society and endangered human existence, as agricultural fields drowned, hunting game disappeared, and the people were dislocated to hills and mountains. Yu's father, Gun, was put in charge of flood control by Yao, but failed to alleviate the problem after nine years. For failing to control the flood gun was executed by orders of Shun by his minister Jurong, in some euhemerized versions, and according to others of which Gun was merely exiled for opposing the elevation of Shun as co-emperor. In more purely mythological versions, the story is more along the lines that Gun transformed into an animal shape to escape the wrath of heaven for having dared to go to heaven and steal the flood fighting expanding earth Shirang, fled to Feather Mountain, was struck dead by heaven, by means of the fire god Jurong. Then, after three years, Yu appeared out of his belly, usually in the form of some fantastic animal. Yu took his father's place fighting the flood, leading the people to build canals and levees, often said to be with the help of Shirang, the flood fighting expanding earth. After thirteen years of toil, Yu abated the flood, although why when Gun used the Shirang it failed to work and he was punished by heaven, but when Yu used it he was able to stop the flood and was rewarded by heaven is a question frequently made in the myths. The mythology of Yu and his associates during their work in controlling the flood and simultaneously saving the people can be seen in various ways to symbolize societal and cultural developments of various types, such as innovations in hunting, agriculture, well digging, astronomy, social and political organizing, and other other cultural innovations that occur during the course of the mythology around the flood stories. For example, a historicized version of Shirang is that this soil may represent an innovative type of raised garden, made up of soil, brushwood, and similar materials. Thus, Yu and his work in controlling the flood with Shirang would symbolize a societal development allowing a large-scale approach to transforming wetlands into arable fields Hawks 1985, Yu was said to be the founder of the Xia dynasty. Topic. First dynasties The first three dynasties have a special significance in mythology. Topic. Xia dynasty The Xia dynasty is a real, historical dynasty known through archaeology and literary accounts. 
However, many of these accounts contain elements of a clearly semi-mythological, and in some versions completely mythological or fanciful. The founding mythology of the early dynasties tend to have certain common general features, including the divine assistance obtained in the founding and the reasons for it. The fighter of the Great Flood, Yu, the Great, had served Yao and Shun and they infeft him as the Prince of Sha, an area of land, Wu 1982, 106 Upon Yu's death questions arose regarding the method of imperial succession, which would be a key factor as an example for Chinese culture for millennia. The question was that, upon Yu's death, who would succeed him? Would it be his son, Qi of Sha also known as Kai, or the deputy that competently and diligently helped in the work against the Great Flood, a mighty hunter who helped feed the people during a time when agriculture had been rendered impossible, Bo Yi. The mythological variants are much concerned with the relative merits between the two. Qi's succession broke the previous convention of meritorious succession in favor of hereditary succession, thus initiating a dynastic tradition Wu 1982, 116 The new dynasty was called Xia, after Yu's center of power. <laughs> Shang dynasty Again, as in common with the founding of Xia, there are mythological material regarding how the previous dynasty turned to evil and unworthy ways, and the founder of miraculous birth or ancestry overthrew it. The mythology of the Shang dynasty is distinct from philosophical and historical accounts. Significant mythology includes the origin of its founders, the miraculous birth by Jiandi of Shang founder Qi, also known as Xie of Shang, after she became pregnant upon swallowing or holding in her bosom a bird's egg Yang et al. 2005, 148 to 150 and 186. After several generations, Xie or Qi's descendant Tang became king of Shang by overthrowing Jia, the last king of the Xia dynasty, said to be a very drunken and bloodthirsty tyrant. The fifth book of the philosopher Mozi describes the end of the Xia dynasty and the beginning of the Shang. During the reign of King Jia of Xia, there was a great climatic change. Legends hold that the paths of the sun and moon changed, the seasons became confused, and the five grains dried up. Ghouls cried in the country and cranes shrieked for ten nights. Heaven ordered Shang Tang to receive the heavenly commission from the Xia dynasty, which had failed morally and which heaven was determined to end. Shang Tang was commanded to destroy Xia with the promise of Heaven's help. In the dark, Heaven destroyed the fortress pool, and Shang Tang then gained victory easily. After discussing the end of Xia and the beginning of Shang, Mozi describes the end of Shang and the beginning of the succeeding Zhou dynasty. During the reign of Shang Zhou, Heaven could not endure Zhou's morality and neglect of timely sacrifices. It rained mud for ten days and nights, the nine cauldrons shifted positions, supernatural prodigies appeared, and ghosts cried at night. There were women who became men while it rained flesh and thorny brambles, covering the national highways. A red bird brought a message. Heaven decrees King Wen of Zhou to punish Yin and possess its empire. The Yellow River formed charts and the earth brought forth mythical horses. When King Wu became king, three gods appeared to him in a dream, telling him that they had drowned Shang Zhou in wine and that King Wu was to attack him. On the way back from victory, the heavens gave him the emblem of a yellow bird. The mythological events surrounding the end of the Shang dynasty and the establishment of the Zhou greatly influenced the subject and story told in the popular novel Investiture of the Gods. Topic. Founding of the Zhou dynasty The origins of the Ji dynastic founding family of the Zhou dynasty is replete with mythological material, going back to its legendary founder Ho Ji, who was originally named Qi, but a different Qi than the Shang founder known as Xie or Qi. Myths about Ho Ji include those of his mythical origins, of which there are two main myths. The end of the Shang overlaps the rise of the Zhou, so there is shared material. Once established, the Zhou were characterized by their volume of literature, in the beginning much of it justifying their overthrow of the Shang. However, it was not long before much historical material appeared, of a rational, rationalized, philosophical, or otherwise non-mythological nature. Bagua 
One of the main legacies of the rise of Zhou was the insemination of the classic book Wen Qing, however the eight trigrams must be from a far earlier period than Wengong, and even more than the editing and commentary by Confucius, mythology references the culture hero sometimes named Fuxi Leg 1899, Introduction, and Su 1968, Preface, and Introduction to the I Ching. See also Helmut, Wilhelm. Topic. Subsequent dynasties Dynasties succeeding Zhou had notable mythological material, such as the accumulation of legend around the Jinan transition between Han dynasty and the Three Kingdoms contention, reflected in the romance of the Three Kingdoms. From the Tang dynasty on, legends occur around the monk Xuanzang's quest for Buddhist scriptures sutras from the area more or less corresponding to modern India, which influenced the Ming dynasty novel Journey to the West. Topic. Important deities, spirits, and mythological people There are various important deities, spirits, and mythological people in Chinese mythology and folk religion. Some are clearly divine, such as the Jade Emperor and even he is sometimes said to have begun life as a mortal. However, in Chinese language many beings are referred to as Shen, sometimes Chinese mythology is called Zhang Guo Shen Hua, Mandarin Chinese, Zhang Guo Shen Hua. Due to the ambiguity of this word when translated into English, it is not always clear how to classify in English the entities described Shen not to be confused with the mythological clam. The category Shen is rather comprehensive and generic in Chinese myth and religion. Shen may be spirits, goddesses or gods, ghosts, or other. Another important concept is the classification of immortals Xian. Immortals are more a category of quality than a description of an actual type. Immortals are defined by living for a long time, maybe forever. However, this is not a static quality, since Taoist adepts, shamans, or others are said to become immortals through right effort and various practices. Another example is the immortality sometimes obtained by the Lohans, Bodhisattvas, and Buddhas of Buddhist religion and mythology this contrasts with indefinitely prolonged series of unenlightened rebirths. Chinese mythology often tends to not make a clear differentiation between Buddhist and Taoist types. Various deities, spirits, and immortals Xian are encountered in various myths. Some of these are particularly associated with Taoism. Some immortals or others became incorporated into Taoism as it developed as a phenomena, deriving from ancient shamanic cults or other sources. The line between Taoism and folk religion is not clear. Other mythological beings are clearly derived through the process of the introduction of Buddhism into China. Topic. Major deities The concept of a principal or presiding deity has fluctuated over time in Chinese mythology. Topic. Shangdi Shangdi, also sometimes Wang Tian Dadi, Huang Tian Da Di appeared as early as the Shang dynasty. In later eras, he was more commonly referred to as Wang Tian Shangdi. Huang Tian Shang. The use of Wang Tian Dadi refers to the Jade Emperor and Tian. Topic: <inaudible> Jade Emperor. Chinese mythology holds that the Jade Emperor was charged with running of the three realms: heaven, hell, and the realm of the living. The Jade Emperor adjudicated and meted out rewards and remedies to saints, the living, and the deceased according to a merit system loosely called the Jade Principles Golden Script, Yu Lu Jin Pian Yu Lu Jin Pian. When proposed judgments were objected to, usually by other saints, the administration would occasionally resort to the councils of advisory elders. The Jade Emperor appeared in literature after the establishment of Taoism in China. His appearance as Yu Huang dates back to beyond the times of Yellow Emperor, Nuwa, or Fuxi. Tian Tian can be either a sky deity by that name or heaven, the sky itself. Tian appeared in literature c. 700 BCE, possibly earlier as dating depends on the date of the Shuzhing Book of Documents. There are no creation-oriented narratives for Tian. The qualities of Tian and Shangdi appear to have merged in later literature and are now worshipped as one entity. Huang Tian Shangdi. Wang Tian Shangdi in, for example, the Beijing's Temple of Heaven. The extent of the distinction between Tian and Shangdi is debated. 
The sinologist Hurley Creel claims that an analysis of the Shang oracle bones reveals Shangdi to have preceded Tian as a deity, and that Zhou dynasty authors replaced the term Shangdi with Tian to cement the claims of their influence. Taoism and Chinese mythology Over time certain aspects of folk religion and belief coalesced and were refined into a group of formal religious beliefs, practices, and philosophy known as Taoism. One of the founders of Taoism was Old Man Laozi, who himself entered into legend or mythology. There is much overlap between religion and mythology, and between Chinese folk religion and Taoism. However, certain beings or concepts of Chinese mythology have a particularly strong association with religious or philosophical Taoism. For example the Jade Emperor, Yu Hong, is a major actor in many myths. In Taoist-related mythology there is often a strong presence of sorcery and magic, such as spells, charms, magical abilities, and elixirs. The development of Taoism as it came to be called was a lengthy one, with various strands including both rationalist ethical philosophy and a magico-religious stand informed by mythology. As Taoism developed as a concept from its traditional roots in Chinese folk religion and mythology, its legitimacy was bolstered by claims of originating with Wangdi, the Yellow Emperor Ferguson 1928-20. For example, the sum of the Wangdi Sijing material, the Wangdi Yinfijing, and the Wangdi Neijing are Taoist classics with claims to a scriptural legacy going back to Wangdi. Jade Emperor The Jade Emperor, Yuhong has had a long and very active mythology, including making the world safe for the people by ridding it of demons long ago, holding a race of various animals which determined the order of the twelve-year calendar cycle, and generally running various affairs on earth and the underworld from his abode in heaven. Besides his active life in mythology, Yuhong is a major divinity of worship in modern Taoism. Eight Immortals. The Eight Immortals have an existence in mythology as well as developed a presence in religious Taoism, and art and literature. The standard group is He Shengu, Sao Goju, Li Tiguai, Lan Keihi, Lu Dongbin, Han Shangza, Zhang Guolao, and Han Zhang Li also known as Zhang Li Quan. Collectively or individual the Eight Immortals walk, ride, fly, or congregate in many myths. <laughs> Buddhist influences. Buddhism was historically introduced to China, probably in the 1st century CE, accompanied by the import of various ideas about deities and supernatural beings including Saitagarbha who was renamed Dezang. The four heavenly kings, the main Buddha himself Shakyamuni Buddha, Shi Jia Mo Ni Fu Shirjamo Yunifo, Avalokiteshvara who after a few centuries metamorphosized into Guanyin also Quanyin, a bodhisattva of compassion, and Hote the laughing Buddha. New Buddhist material continued to enter China, with a big spike in the Tang dynasty, when the monk Xuanzang brought over 600 texts from India, Schaefer 1963, 273-275 over time, Guanyin also became a Taoist immortal, and was the subject of much mythology. Guanyin <laughs> <laughs> Guanyin is also known as Quan Yin, Guanxian, the goddess of mercy and many other names. The mythology around Guanyin is twofold, one based on the Avalokitesvara, Avalokiteshvara tradition from India and one based on an alleged Chinese young woman's life, as appears in the legend of Miaoshan. Guanyin is worshipped as a goddess, yet has a most impressive mythological resume. Many myths and legends exist about Guan Yin. In all of them she is exceptionally compassionate. Saitagarbha Saitagarbha was a Buddhist deity from the area of India who was renamed Dezang, in China. He usually appears as usually depicted as a monk with a halo around his shaved head, he carries a staff to force open the gates of hell and a wish-fulfilling jewel to light up the darkness. Four Heavenly Kings there are a group known as the Four Heavenly Kings, one for each cardinal direction. Statues of them can be encountered in the Hall of the Heavenly Kings of many Buddhist temples. Laughing Buddha 
In an interesting development, the mythology of a fat, laughing Buddha developed in China. A little like Santa Claus he wandered the world like a jolly elf, carrying a sack full of goodies. Topic. Confucian influence A major factor in Chinese mythology is shown in the development of the tradition known as Confucianism, named after a writer and school master who lived around 551–479 BCE. Confucius embraced the traditions of ancestor veneration. He also came to be a major figure of worship in Taoism, which also had its genesis in traditional Chinese religion. The legitimacy of the Confucian movement was bolstered by the claim that its origins could be found in the mythology often claimed to be history of Yao and Shun Ferguson 1928, 20. <laughs> Sharing between folk religion and mythology Modern and ancient Chinese culture had plenty of room for both religion and mythology. Certain deities or spirits receive special attention. These include divinities of wealth, longevity, fertility. Mythologically, it is possible to attain many desires through ritual activity involved with mythological themes. For example, many stores and restaurants in China or of the Chinese diaspora have shrines to Guan Yu, also known as Guandi. Guandi Guandi began as a three kingdoms general, Guan Yu. Over the subsequent centuries, Guan Yu became promoted by official decree to be the god Guandi. He is a god primarily of brotherhood and social organizations such as businesses, although this is sometimes seen in connection with martial power and war. According to mythology, Guan Yu made a famous covenant of brotherhood in a peach orchard. Topic: Three Star Deities. Topic: Star God of Longevity. An example of sharing between folk religion and mythology is the star god of longevity. Topic. Afterlife and family Much Chinese mythology concerns the afterlife, explaining what happens people after they die. This is related to ancestor veneration, the mythological geography of heaven and hell, the rituals at family tombs, and so on. Topic. Immortals Xion. Sometimes, in mythology, certain humans develop the ability to live indefinitely, avoiding death, and becoming divine Xion. Such humans generally also are said to develop special powers. Generally, these abilities are said to develop through such practices of Chinese alchemy, obtaining an elixir of life, and or various austerities of diet or sexuality. Symbolic associations with immortality include a spotted deer, cranes, the lingzi mushroom, and a gourd and bat. Often immortals are mythologically located in mountain paradises, such as Kunlun. Various common English translations of Xi'an exist, such as, immortal, fairy, and sage. An example of a Taoist immortal is Wang Tai Sin, who began as a 4th century CE hermit and developed into a divine healer. Topic. Ghosts or spirits of the deceased Common beliefs and stories in Chinese mythology involve a soul or spirit that survives after the death of someone's body. There are many types. Topic. Living dead Jiangxi are a type of reanimated corpse. Topic. Zhang Kui in the mythological folklore, Zhang Kui became a suicide upon unfairly evaluated in the civil service tests. However, Zhang Kui's ghost was judged fairly in the afterlife as a worthy candidate for promotion, so he became a protective spirit. The mythology of Zhang Kui provides a good example of this type of story. Topic. Holidays and festival rituals Abundant mythology is associated with religious holidays and folk festivals. Topic. Qingming Festival The Qingming Festival is a good example of a Chinese holiday that involves family activities associated with a seasonally recurring annual event, and, also, ancestor veneration. Topic. 
Shishi Festival. The seasonally recurring annual holiday of Shishi involves love and romance. A main mythological tale is the cowherd and the weaver girl. Topic: <inaudible> Weather deities. Various deities or spirits are associated with weather phenomena, such as drought or thunder. Dragons are often associated with rain. Examples include the deity or mythological person Ba, also known as Hanba or Nuba. Ba is the daughter of the Yellow Emperor Wangdi, whom she aided during his battle at Jolu against Chiyu. After Chiyu had fielded a wind god Bo and a rain god Yushi, Ba descended from heaven to use her drought power to defeat their wind and rain powers. She is one of the first goddesses attested to in Chinese literature, appearing in the early collection of poetry, the Shijing, as well as in the later Shanhaijing. At least up through the middle of the 20th century, ceremonies to produce rain were held in many regions of China. The basic idea of these ceremonies, which could last several hours, was to drive Ba out of the region. Another example, is Lei Gong, god of thunder. <laughs> Astronomical deities Various goddesses, gods, or spirits are especially associated with certain astronomical objects. Topic. Sun and suns Various mythology involves the sun. One solar deity is Xihe, goddess of the sun. There is a myth of Kua Fu, a giant who followed the sun, during the course of his chase he drained all of the waters dry including the Yellow River, and after he died of thirst was transformed into a mountain range or a forest. Known as Sanzuwu are three-legged crow or crows associated with the sun, or the ten suns, of which Hui shot down nine. Sometimes mythology portrays there being more than one sun. Topic. Hui and the ten suns It was said that there were ten suns, each one taking a turn at on its allotted day to cross the sky this has been thought evidence of a ten-day week used at one time. There is a mythological account of how at one on a certain morning ten suns all rose into the sky together. The oppressive heat lead to drought, the plants began to wither, and wams and animals were all on the verge of death. A mighty archer Yi, or Hui, shot down all but one of them, saving humanity. Topic. Moon Chang'e or in older versions Chang'o is goddess of the moon. Another lunar deity is Changshi, probably an older version of Chang'e with the name changed due to a naming taboo. Chang'e is modern. Topic. Chang'e In mythology it was said that Chang'e had been married to the heroic archer Hui, but one day she swallowed a pill of immortality and floated up to the moon. Now it is said Chang'e lives in a cold crystal palace on the moon. Every year during a full moon toward harvest time, Chang'e is worshipped. This is the mid-autumn festival, families gather under the moonlight and celebrate in honor of the moon. Although somewhat lonely, Chang'e is not alone on the moon. Topic. Wu Gang and the Magic Tree A magical tree grows on the moon. It is possibly an osmanthus tree osmanthus fragrans, some type of laurel Lauraceae, such as acacia such as Cinnamomum cassia, but more likely a unique specimen of a magical tree. Every month the immortal Wu Gang cuts away at the tree, chopping it smaller and smaller. Then, just when he just has it chopped completely down, it magically grows back. Once it has grown back Wu Gang returns to his chopping, in an endless monthly cycle. Topic. Rabbit in the moon An alchemical hare or rabbit lives on the moon. The lunar rabbit can be seen when the moon is full, busy with mortar and pestle, preparing the elixir of immortality. Three-legged toad See Lu Haichan for Chinese characters A three-legged toad lives on the moon. During full moons the three-legged golden toad Jin Chan frequents near houses or businesses that will soon receive good news generally in the form of wealth. Also known as a money toad, statuettes of this toad are used as a charm in feng shui. The mythology of the immortal Lu Haichan who seems to be a form of Kaishan, Zhao Gong, god of wealth is associated with this tripedal toad. 
Topic: <laughs> Deities of places. Various goddesses, gods, spirits, fairies, or monsters are associated with specific places, such as particular rivers, mountains, or the ocean. Some of these locations are associated with real geography, others are known only through mythological imagination. Shi <inaudible> Wangmu <inaudible> <inaudible> Shi Wangmu, meaning Queen Mother of the West, predates organized Taoism, yet is now strongly identified with Taoism. Shi Wangmu is generally mythologically located in a Western wonderland, to the West, now identified with the Kunlun of mythology. Thus, she is the ruler of a passageway between Earth and Heaven. <laughs> Mizu Mizu is a major goddess. She is a goddess of the sea. Mizu worship is credited with leading to miraculous salvations at sea, protecting sailors and travelers from drowning. She is a tutelary deity of seafarers, including fishermen and sailors, especially along coastal China and areas of the Chinese diaspora. <laughs> Shang River goddesses The two Shang River goddesses are ancient in mythology. They are associated with the Shang River in the former Chu area of China. They are also mythologically credited with causing a certain type of bamboo to develop a mottled appearance said to resemble tear drops The two Shang River goddesses are named Ewang and Nuying. <laughs> Deities or spirits of human activities Various deities or spirits are associated with certain human activities. Various deities or spirits are associated with the households in general or with cities. Some provide tutelary help to persons pursuing certain occupations or seeking to have children. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Household deities and spirits. The Chinese household was often the subject of mythology and related ritual. The welfare of the family was mythologically related to the perceived help of helpful deities and spirits, and avoiding the baneful effects of malicious ones. Of these household deities the most important was the kitchen god Zhao Jun. The kitchen god was viewed as a sort of intermediary between the household and the supreme god, who would judge, then reward or punish a household based on the kitchen god's report Christie 1968, 112. Zhao Jun was propitiated at appropriate times by offerings of food and incense, and various mythological stories about him exist. Lesser deities or spirits were also thought to help out the household through their intervention. For example, the guardians of the doors, the mentioned pair and others. Territories administrators Various deities and spirits have been mythologically associated with the welfare of areas of land and with cities. Some were good, tutelary guardians, others were malicious ghosts or evil hauntings. <laughs> Hutu Hutu is a deity of the entire earth, acting as a guardian. <laughs> Tuda the Tuta or Tutagong were the spiritual dukes or gods in charge of protecting particular parcels of land, acting as the local gods of individual villages. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> City gods. In old China, the city was almost synonymous with the city wall. Most cities also had a moat made to further protect the perimeter of the city and as an artifact of building the ramparts. A city god guarded an individual city. There were many cities. There were many cities and many city gods. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Occupational tutelaries. The life of a scholar has long been pursued in China, in part due to rewarding those who study hard and do well in standardized tests. There is a whole area myth around the imperial examination in Chinese mythology. For example, in the area of literature, success in standardized tests, and other culture there are associated pair Kui Xing and Wen Chang Wang. <laughs> Life and social association there are deities mythologically associated with various intimate aspects of human life, including motherhood, general sodality and formal syndicals, lifespan and fate, and war and death. 
Many are currently worshipped in Buddhism, Taoism, or Chinese folk religion. Guandi is a prominent example, but there are many others. Topic. Promoters of health A good example of a medicine deity is Sun Simiao, who became Yaoing. Another is Baosheng Daddy. Topic. Bixia Bixia is mythologically connected with motherhood and fertility. She is currently a popular goddess. Topic. Siming The Siming is a god of lifespan and fate. Topic. Male sexuality Tor Shen is a leveret or rabbit gay deity, patron of gay men who engage in same gender love and sexual activities. Topic. Miscellaneous mythological beings Various deities, spirits, or other mythological beings are encountered in Chinese mythology, some of them related to the religious beliefs of China. Some of them are currently worshipped, some of them now only appear as characters in myths, and some both ways. Fangfeng, the giant who helped fight Flood, executed by Yu the Great Feng Meng, apprentice to Hu Yi, and his eventual murderer Gao Yao Magu, deity, Taoist immortal, anti-hemp Neza, Taoist protection deity Tam Kung, sea deity with the ability to forecast weather Xingtian, headless giant decapitated by the Yellow Emperor as punishment for challenging him, his face is on his torso as he has no head Yujang, Yellow Emperor's descendant, god of north sea and wind Jirong, god of fire Dao Ji, compassionate folk hero known for wild and eccentric behavior Erlang Shen, possessed a third eye in the middle of his forehead that saw the truth Topic. Mythological creatures Non-divine mythological beings are sometimes divided into several parts each ruled over by a particular type of being humans ruled over by the emperor, winged creatures ruled over by the phoenix, and scaly, finned, or crawly creatures ruled over by the dragon. Topic. The Four Intelligence The Four Intelligence were four species of animals of particular intelligence not considering humans. Each one represented and ruled over a class of animals. The Four Intelligence were the dragon, the phoenix, the unicorn, and the tortoise. For example, Xu Shen's dictionary Xuan Jiezi under the entry for Long, Dragon describes the dragon as head of all animals that swim or crawl. Wu 1982, 5-6 Topic. Dragons, dragon-like and related creatures The Chinese dragon is one of the most important mythical creatures in Chinese mythology, considered to be the most powerful and divine creature and the controller of all waters who could create clouds with their breath. The dragon symbolized great power and was very supportive of heroes and gods. The conventional dragon has a certain description, however there are other dragons or dragon-like beings that vary from this description. For example, the Kai of mythology lacks horns. Dragons often chase or play with a mystical or flaming pearl. A dragon fengwang pairing is a common motif in art, the fengwang often being called a phoenix. One of the most famous dragons in Chinese mythology is Yinglong, the god of rain. Many people in different places pray to Yinglong to receive rain. Chinese people use the term Long de Chuan Ren, descendants of the dragon, as a sign of their ethnic identity. Shenlong is a master of storms and bringer of rain. Zhulong the torch dragon is a giant red solar deity. Sometimes he appears in composite snake-like, human dragon form. There were various dragon kings. They mostly lived undersea and were of the Ao family, such as Ao Guang. Various mythology accounting human dragon relationships exist, such as the story of Longmu, a woman who raised dragons. Specific dragons, or types of dragon, include Dai Long, the Earth Dragon, Fuzang Long, the Treasure Dragon, Zhao Long, Dragon of Floods and Sea, Tang, a flying creature, sometimes considered a type of snake or dragon snake, Tian Long, the Celestial Dragon, sometimes associated with centipede qualities, Ying Long, the Water Dragon, a powerful servant of Yellow Emperor. 
Topic: <laughs> Fish and fish-like. Various mythology of China involves fish or fish-like beings. Part human, part sea creatures of the mermaid Ren Yu type appear. The kun or pung was a giant monstrous fish transformation of the pung bird. Carp that leapt the Dragon Gate Falls of the Yellow River were said to transform into dragon. This was used as a symbol for a scholar's successful graduation in the imperial examination system. Topic: <laughs> Snake-like and reptilian. Various snakes and reptilians appear in Chinese mythology, folklore, and religion. These range from divine or semi-divine to merely fantastic types of the bestiary sort. Sometimes the dragon is considered part of this category, related to it, or the ruler of all the swimming and crawling folk. This may include the giant marine turtle or tortoise owl, the bashi snake reputed to swallow elephants, a nine-headed snake monster reminiscent of the hydra known as Shangliyo, and the white serpent from the novel Legend of the White Snake. Topic. Birds Various birds are found in Chinese mythology, some of them obviously based on real birds, other ones obviously not, and some in between. The crane is an example of a real type of bird with mythological enhancements. Cranes are linked with immortality, and may be transformed Xi'an immortals, or Farian immortal upon their back. The vermilion bird is iconic of the South. Sometimes confused with the Feng Wang, the vermilion bird of the south is associated with fire. The Peng was a gigantic bird phase of the gigantic Kun fish. The Jingwei is a mythical bird which tries to fill up the ocean with twigs and pebbles symbolizing indefatigable determination. The Qingyao was the messenger or servant of Shi Wangmu. Other birds include the Bai Fang bird, a one-legged bird. Bai is also number 19 of the 28 mansions of traditional Chinese astronomy, the net Bai. There are supposed to be the Jian, Jian Jian 1, the mythical one-eyed bird with one wing, Jian Jian, Jian Jian a pair of such birds dependent on each other, inseparable, hence representing husband and wife. There was a Shang Yang rainbird. The Jufeng is a nine-headed bird used to scare children. The Su Shuang, Su Shuang Su 4 Shuang 3 sometimes appears as a goose-like bird. The gen is a poisonous bird. There may be a jiguang, jiguang, jiguang. Topic: <inaudible> Mythological humanoid. Mythological humanoids includes the former human, the part human, and the human-like, although these sometimes merge into other categories. Kui, one-legged mountain demon or dragon who invented music and dance, also shuns music master. Xiao, Xiao Xiao One, Mountain Spirit or Demon Yao Guai, Demons Topic. Mythological mammalians Various mythological mammals exist in Chinese mythology. Some of these form the totem animals of the Chinese zodiac. The Chinese language of mythology tends not to mark words for gender or number, so English language translations can be problematic. Also, species or even genera are not always distinguished, with the named animal often being seen as the local version of that type, such as is the case with sheep and goats, or the versatile term sometimes translated as ox. Topic. Fox spirits Fox spirits feature prominently in mythology throughout the mythology of East Asia. In China, these are generally known as Huli Jing. There are various types, such as the nine-tailed fox. Topic. Dogs Various dogs appear in the mythology of China, featuring more prominently in some ethnic cultures more than others. The zodiacal dog is featured in the Chinese zodiac. Topic. Bovidae The bovidae appearing in the mythologies of China include the ox including the common cow, buffalo, and the yak, sheep and goats, and perhaps antelopes sometimes. Unicorns are thought to be types of antelopes. Topic. Ox Oxen may including refer to the common cow, the buffalo, and the yak. The zodiacal ox is one of the twelve zodiacal signs in the twelve-year calendar cycle. Yak tails are mentioned as magical whisks used by Taoist sorcerers. 
The ox appears in various agricultural myths. Topic: <laughs> Sheep and goats. Sheep and or goats appear in various myths and stories. The zodiacal sheep is one of the 12 zodiacal signs in the 12-year calendar cycle. A semi-mythical, semi-historical story involves the adventures of the Han diplomat Su Wu held captive among the Xiongnu for 19 years and forced to herd sheep and or goats. <laughs> Horses Horses frequently gallop through Chinese mythology. Sometimes the poets say that they are related to dragons. The zodiacal horse is one of the twelve zodiacal signs in the twelve-year calendar cycle. Topic: <inaudible> Unicorns. Various types of unicorns can be found in the myths, designated by the term lin, which is often translated as unicorn. They possess many similarities to the European unicorn, although not necessarily having only one horn. There are six types of lin Shepherd 1930, 97. One type of lin is the ki lin, a chimeric or composite animal with several variations. Xu Shen in his early 2nd century CE Dictionary Xuawen Jiezi defines what is represented by this particular lin in K. C. Wu's translation as an animal of benevolence, having the body of an antelope, the tail of an ox, and a single horn. Also, according to the Shuawen Jiezi, the horn was sometimes said to have been frightening in appearance to scare off would-be attackers, but really flesh-tipped so as to cause no harm. Lin, or unicorns appear only during the reign of benevolent rulers. In 451 BCE, Confucius recorded that a unicorn had appeared, but was slain in a ducal hunt. Confucius was so upset upon reporting this that he set aside his brush and wrote no more. Wu 1982, 6 and 45 note 13. The giraffe was not well known in China and poorly described. About 1200 CE, the lin and the giraffe began to trade characteristics in their mythological conceptions. Shepherd 1930, 286 note 36. It is possible that the unicorns resulted from different descriptions of animals which later became extinct, or they no longer ranged in the area of China. Topic. Cats Various cats appear in Chinese mythology, many of them large. Examples are Pixio, resembled a winged lion, and Ruishi, 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 guardian lions. Sometimes they are found pulling the chariot of Ziwingmu. The cat is one of the twelve annual zodiacal animals in Vietnamese and related cultural calendars, having the place of the rabbit found in the Chinese system. <inaudible> ungulate Various ungulates are encountered. Xinyu, a rhinoceros, became mythologized when rhinoceroses became extinct in China. Depictions later changed to a more bovine appearance, with a short, curved horn on its head used to communicate with the sky. Topic. Simeon Various beings with simian characteristics appear in Chinese mythology and religion. The Monkey King was a warder of evil spirits, respected and loved, an ancient deity at least influenced by the Hindu deity Hanuman. The Monkey God is still worshipped by some people in modern China. Some of the mythology associated with the Monkey King influenced the novel Journey to the West. The Shao of mythology appears as a long-armed ape or a four-winged bird, making it hard to categorize exactly, but this is true of various composite beings of mythology. An implausible claim that traditional Chinese mythology possesses H Sigo or flying monkeys has been made on the internet, becoming a viral meme. However, these do not actually exist in authentic current Chinese mythology, indeed, H Sigo is not even a plausible Chinese word, Victor Mayer, on the language log at the University of Pennsylvania. <laughs> Topic. Abstract or difficult to classify Topic. The Four Fiends Hundun, Chaos Teoti, Gluttony Tao Wu, Tao Wu ignorance, provided confusion and apathy and made mortals free of the curiosity and reason needed to reach enlightenment. Chongqi, Chongqi deviousness. Topic. Other. 
Nyen, lives under the sea or in mountains, attacks children. Longma, winged horse similar to the Kilin. Luduan, can detect the truth. Zayaji, also Xie Kai, the creature of justice said to be able to distinguish lies from truths, it had a long, straight horn used to gore liars. Baizi, legendary creature said to have been encountered by the Yellow Emperor and to have given him a compendium listing all the demons in the world. Topic. Mythological plants Various mythological plants appear in Chinese mythology. Some of these in heaven or earthly paradises, some of them in particularly inaccessible or hard to find areas of the earth. Examples include the Fusong World Tree Habitation of Suns, the Lingzi Mushrooms of Immortality, the Peaches of Immortality, and the Magical Yao Grass. Also encountered are various plants of jasper and jade growing in the gardens of the paradises. <laughs> Major sources Some myths survive in theatrical or literary formats as plays or novels, others are still collected from the oral traditions of China and surrounding areas. Other material can be gleaned from examining various other artifacts such as Chinese ritual bronzes, ceramics, paintings, silk tapestries and elements of Chinese architecture. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Literary sources. The earliest written evidence is found in the oracle bone script, written on scapulae or tortoise plastrons in the process of the divination practices Shang dynasty ended approximately 1046 BCE. A copious and eclectic source of information on Chinese mythology is the written materials recovered from the Dunhuang Manuscripts Library, now scattered in libraries around the world. Topic: <laughs> Pre-Han and Han Dynasty era literature. The oldest written sources of Kaimi's mythology are short inscriptions, rather than literature as such. Topic. Shells and bones The earliest known written inscriptions of Chinese mythology are found on the shells and bones from about 3,000 years before present Yang et al. 2005, 4. Most known shell and bone inscriptions are from artifacts used for divination purposes during the late Shang dynasty Yin. Their use in the study of mythology is fragmentary. Topic. Bronzes Very ancient bronze pieces have also been found, especially beginning in the Zhou dynasty founded about 3,000 years before present, with allusions or short descriptions adding to modern knowledge of ancient Chinese mythology. The sacred or magical attitude towards some of these cast inscriptions is shown in that they sometimes appear in places almost inaccessible to being read, such as the inside of a vessel often quite large and heavy, often covered with a lid, and perhaps meant to store food. However, there was a widespread belief that such writings were read by gods or spirits Barrett 2008, 31. One such vessel a shu, shu with the characters appearing on the inside bottom is a Zhou bronze with a 98-character description of the deeds of Yu draining the flood Yang et al. 2005, 5. Topic. Confucian classics and the Zhou dynasty Some information can be found in the Confucian classics, and other Zhou dynasty era material, especially Book of Rites, but also Lushi Chunchu. Topic. Confucian classics and the Zhou dynasty Some information can be found in the Confucian classics, and other Zhou dynasty era material, especially Book of Rites, but also the Lushi Chunchu. The Book of Documents contains some Chinese myths. Topic. Chuchi and poetry sources some information on Chinese mythology is found in the verse poetry associated with the ancient state of Chu such as Lisao, Zhu Zhe, and Heavenly Questions, contained in the Chuchi anthology, traditionally attributed to the authorship of Ku Yuan of Chu. The Chuchi was compiled during Han, but contains some older material, dating back prior to the defeat of Chu state during the rise of the Qin dynasty. Later poetic sources also address mythology, for example, Tang poetry. Topic. Prose literature of Han 
Useful historical documents include the records of the Grand Historian, completed by Sima Qian before his death in about 220 CE. Legends were passed down for over a thousand years before being written in books such as Classic of Mountains and Seas Shanhaijing, basically a gazetteer mixing known and mythological geography. Another major Han source on mythology is the Wainanzi. Three Kingdoms through Tang Three Kingdoms through Tang dynasty eras also include some factors relevant to Chinese mythology. Topic. Sixteen Kingdoms The mythologically relevant book Soshan Ji dates to the Jin dynasty 265 during the Sixteen Kingdoms era. Also known as In Search of the Supernatural, it is a 4th century compilation of stories and hearsay concerning spirits, ghosts, and supernatural phenomena. Topic. Song Dynasty Surviving Song Dynasty literature informative on Chinese mythology includes the Taiping Yulan. Topic. Chinese novels Some myths were passed down through oral traditions literature, and art, such as theater and song before being recorded as novels. One example is Epic of Darkness. Books in the Shenmo genre of vernacular fiction revolve around gods and monsters. Important mythological fiction which allude to these these myths, include Feng Shen Bang Investiture of the Gods, a mythological fiction dealing with the founding of the Zhou dynasty, Journey to the West attributed to Wu Chengyin, published in the 1590s, a fictionalized account of the pilgrimage of Xuanzang to India to obtain Buddhist religious texts in which the main character and his companions such as Sun Wukong encounter ghosts, monsters, and demons, as well as the flaming mountains, and, Beishe Zhuan Madam White Snake, a romantic tale set in Hangzhou involving a female snake who attained human form and fell in love with a man. Strange Tales from a Chinese Studio, by Pu Songling contains many stories of fox spirits, and other phenomena. Another example is Zi Bu Yu, a collection of supernatural stories compiled during the Qing dynasty. Topic literary genres Certain genres of literature are notable for dealing with themes from mythology or tales of the supernatural, for example, the Zhiguai literary genre that deals with strange mostly supernatural events and stories. Topic India The literature of India contains material about Chinese mythology, due to the influence of textual sources imported into China, and translated into Chinese and the ideas widely adopted by Chinese people. This was primarily in regard to Buddhist texts, containing Buddhist mythology from the area in and around the area now known as India. Some Hindu material may have been more directly imported. Topic in popular culture Thousands of years of the development of Chinese mythology has resulted in Chinese mythology in popular culture, in the sense of popular culture affected or inspired by this tradition. This includes television shows, cinema, and video games. Also, many of the vehicles associated with the modern Chinese space program are named after mythology, such as the planned lunar explorer Chang'e 4, named after the lunar goddess and its communications relay satellite Quechow, named after the lover's bridge over the Milky Way formed by magpies. Topic see also topic Category Tree for Chinese mythology topic Notes topic References Barrett, T. H. 2008. The Woman Who Discovered Printing. New Haven, Yale University Press. ISBN 978-0-300-12728-7 Christie, Anthony Chinese Mythology. Feltham, Hamlin Publishing. ISBN 0600006379 Ferguson, John C. China in Volume 8 of Mythology of All Races. Archaeological Institute of America. Hawks, David, Translator and Introduction 2011 Ku Yuan et al., The Songs of the South, an ancient Chinese anthology of poems by Ku Yuan and other poets. London, Penguin Books. ISBN 978-0-14-044375-2 Lauderette, Kenneth Scott The Chinese, Their History and Culture 3rd edition, revised, 1947. New York, Macmillan. Legg, James, Translator and Introduction. The I Ching, The Book of Changes 2nd edition. New York, Dover 1963 1899. Library of Congress 63-19508 Paludin, Anne 1998. 
Chronicle of the Chinese Emperors, the reign-by-reign -reign record of the rulers of Imperial China. New York, New York, Thames and Hudson. ISBN 0-500-05090-2 Paper, Jordan D. The Spirits Are Drunk, Comparative Approaches to Chinese Religion. Albany, New York, State University of New York Press. ISBN 0-7914-2315-8. Schaefer, Edward H. 1963, the Golden Peaches of Samarkand. Berkeley, University of California Press. Shepard, Odell. 1930. The Lore of the Unicorn, Myths and Legends. London, Random House UK. ISBN 0-09-185135-1 and ISBN 1-85958-489-6 both claimed on book Sue, R. G. H. 1968. The Man of Many Qualities, A Legacy of the I Ching, Preface and Introduction. Cambridge, Michigan Institute of Technology Press. LOCCCN 6818242. Strasburg, Richard E., Editor, Translator, and Comments. 2002 2018. A Chinese Bestiary, Strange Creatures from the Guidewas Through Mountains and Seas. Berkeley and Los Angeles, University of California Press. ISBN 978-0-520-29851-4 Werner, E.T.C. Myths and Legends of China. New York, George G. Harrop & Co. Ltd. Werner, E.T.C. Myths and Legends of China. New York, Dover Publications. ISBN 0-486-28092-6 Wu, K.C. The Chinese Heritage. New York, Crown Publishers. ISBN 0-517-54475-X. Yang, Liwei and Demingen, with Jessica Anderson Turner 2005. Handbook of Chinese Mythology. New York, Oxford University Press. ISBN 978-0-19-533263-6 External links Media related to mythology of China at Wikimedia Commons Encyclopedia of Chinese Gods and Goddesses Ferguson, John C. 1928. China in Volume 8 of Mythology of All Races. Archaeological Institute of America. Or Greater Than Guide to Chinese Gods Chinese Myths Online Collection of images from Chinese mythology Zhang Guoxing Yi Shen Chong but